Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. KFES's Carly O'Keefe joins us to talk about elections, all things elections. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Glad to be here, Mike. Yes, yeah, so we were just we were just talking. So uh, you've been in Cape since two thousand and five. Yes. Before that, I was in Iowa covering Iowa caucuses of two thousand four. Uh, that was a pretty exciting time. So yeah, I, I have imagine. a long history of being a political nerd. So I'm happy to be here chatting with <laughs> well, you. Well, I was going to say. So you've got you're you're well schooled mm -hmm. in the uh, in the election world. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. like it? Yes, I do. Um, you know, it's really fun to see people feel like they can really make a difference on election day sure. and people can't forget that. It's it's so important that people get out and vote. Um, you know, that is your chance at the ballot box is where you make your voice heard. So if you stay home, don't complain about what's happening in government because, you know, you could have had a say. Yeah. Um, and sometimes we feel like our, our vote doesn't count, but it really does. It, it, even if you're in a state like Illinois, that's not a battleground state at all. Sure. Um, it still matters. So yeah, everybody get out and vote. I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You get the you get the vote. You get to speak. That's know? right. That's, Absolutely. That's, that's kind of mm -hmm. kind of how it goes. Well, specifically to a KFES twelve. Mm -hmm. um, what you know? What does that? time look like for you guys around November the 5th? I'm sure it's pretty hectic. Controlled chaos, basically. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe not uh, controlled. But yes, uh, there's a lot of people on the phones. Uh, we're always calling people like uh, Kara Clark Summer, mm -hmm. uh, on bothering them on their busiest day of the year. Sure. And, um, you know, uh, we're trying to keep up with the numbers, get the very latest uh, details and, and see who's winning. Sometimes you don't know at the end of the night. Uh, we just had a case uh, just in the August 6th primary where where uh, the Dunkley County Sheriff, we didn't know who won for, I think it was two weeks after, because they did a recount and it was a whole hullabaloo. So mm -hmm. like you were talking before about, um, you know, keeping elections honest, this was a perfect case of that, where we had to continue covering and make sure that the outcome was as it was supposed to be. Um, because one uh, candidate had heard that he won on the night and then they called him back and said, just kidding, we found a bunch more ballots. So. Mm -hmm. Obviously, in today's climate where people are, are really uh, scrutinizing the election process, that raised some some concerns. And sure. so, um, you know, it was our duty to continue to cover that even after Election Day. And this upcoming election is going to be interesting because we're focusing higher up on the ticket. A lot of our local races were decided in the primary. There's no Democrat running. True. So, um, you know, that that makes it a. Uh, easier and more difficult. You know, we, we have to try to spread out our coverage and go here, there and yonder to make sure that we're representing all areas of our viewing area, which is Illinois, Kentucky, and of course, Southeast Missouri. And that's a big area. It so is. yeah, we have, we have a, a, a good size staff, but it, it's still a small staff and we do the best we can. Will we see, uh, reporting leading up to election night? Any special types of programs or, or reports leading up to? Um, well, we do on pretty much a daily basis. We kind of keep up with things, of course, uh, talk about polls and, and who's leading and, and this and that. Uh, we also do sometimes uh, lead up to election uh, web specials. Um, I did one on the primary night talking to an expert and kind of hashing out some of the races that you would see on the ballot. Um, and, you know, so that's kind of good. It, we just try to bring the races to the people and, and make them understand why they should care. You know, that's that's really our main job, because, you know, you hear a name, you don't really know about that name. You don't know what they really believe in it, other than the attack ads that they put on TV, you right. know, which aren't always uh, maybe truthful to the person themselves. It's kind of buzzwords. But. And, you know, for local media, this is really a, a time, you know, when, uh, you know, you're not going to find, uh, for the most part, the, the in-depth coverage uh, for your area on election night than you would with your local media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, CNN is probably not going to be talking about the Cape water rate increase. Probably not. Right? I mean, that's probably a hot not. button issue here in Cape, and um, people are going to want to know about that. Um, and that's something we'll be bringing to them. Of course, the uh, amendments to the Constitution that are up for discussion, um, you know, the minimum wage discussion uh, in terms of a ballot initiative. So a lot of things that, you know, CNN or ABC, CBS, NBC are not going to be focusing on or, or Fox News, 
they don't they don't care about that stuff. They care about the very tippy tap of the ticket. Right. And we're we're farther down. We're we're focusing on the things that matter to you, the things that are actually going to be affecting your life, your pocketbook, your future. So those are the things that um, that we do in local news. So day of again, all hands on deck, <laughs> spread out all over the place. Yeah. And mm -hmm. imagine uh you know, early mornings, long, long evenings. Yes, it makes for a long day. Um, it goes by very fast, though. Uh, you know, you're just constantly in motion. Um, a lot of times we'll be moving around from um, party to party. You know, you go to this watch party and then you might for another show be at this watch party or then you'll do a web special from this location. So it, it's a lot of constant movement, moving parts. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very exciting. And we also have the benefit um, since my company has a few uh, affiliates throughout the state of Missouri, we have other reporters bringing watch parties like, uh, for instance, for the primary, we were at. Coons and Holly, and we were able to bring those reports uh, to you. So you didn't have to watch KY3 or sure. KMOV. You could just watch us and catch up with what's going on throughout the state. Anything for you in particular, since you're a veteran to election coverage, that you like the best, that you kind of, that interests you the most? Yeah, you know, um, I have a few times been tasked with doing our web specials, which um, you know, it, it, you don't get the glory there, but it, it's a lot more fun because I'm talking to political experts. Um, last time we had a professor from CMO, political science uh, professor from CMO. Um, we had a, the time before, the general election before, we had uh, a gentleman from SIU's Paul Simon Public Policy Institute. So just kind of hashing through the issues and, and letting folks know a little bit deeper than the headlines. Um, that's something that I really enjoy. Well, we, uh, we appreciate uh, the coverage. Uh, we'll be ready for it and appreciate, uh, you know, your voice and your passion for, for election night. I didn't, I didn't know that you were quite the, the seasoned veteran when it came to all the way back to the Iowa caucuses. Yeah, I told you I'm a political nerd. So well, that's, that's uh, you know, you need that on, on, on these special nights. So mm -hmm. we thank you so much, Carly. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned. Coming up, Trevor Pulley and Casey Brunke wrap it up. That's coming up next.